Nigerian celebrities, including actress Kiki Omeli, singer Kenny St. Best, and television star Nerele Edu, are out early for a cause. The shelved the gleets and glam personalities that usually grace the red carpet to hang out with citizens to create awareness for cervical and breast cancer. Derele Edu, who recently starred in the short film Pepper Soup, recounts a sad story about cancer patients. So what's his favorite food or drink? Um, he likes to hear my kids. I have heard about different kinds of cancer, all kinds. The very, um, I would, let, me, let me take you down memory lane a little. Back then, I used to go to Luth a lot to visit the children's ward, and we used to visit kids with cancer. Kids with cancer whose parents had no means of, you know, taking care of them. They were just helpless, nearly lifeless, and just wondering what next to do. So the only thing we could do at that point in time, I would just gather my friends in the industry, and we'll go visit the kids, give them amazing toys, instructional materials, things to just engage their mind. And I remember there was a certain case of a woman who had two kids that had cancer. And whilst she was getting to the last phase of chemo, of chemotherapy, she took the kids out and took them to church and said she was going to pray for like a month. And then when their case worsened, she had to come back to Luth. You know, we, we were really on that matter, but then we lost the kids. So after that period, I could just not get this out of my head, you know. And every time I hear the word cancer, I am not very knowledgeable about it. I would not like because I'm not scientifically inclined. You know, we are in the arts-oriented field. But I mean, every time I hear it, I just know it's something that's really, it's eating deep. And you know, it, it just does not affect you physically, but it also eats at your mind, your body and your soul, and even people around you. Couple of Days star Kiki O'Malley demonstrates impressive knowledge on the malignant ailment. Well, I think it's important that people, the general public, should know about cervical cancer because a lot of women only um, tend to hear about cervical cancer when they have already come down with the disease. And a lot of people don't know that for every sexually active woman, you are at risk because um, there's a human papilloma virus, which is um, basically given to the woman you know during sexual intercourse so people need to understand that if you are screened and this disease is caught in time it is curable you can actually get treatment and people don't have to die for, um, from the disease that's why it's very important for people to know about it what? how can my wife be telling her friends my thing isn't working <laughs> In the past, there were vaccines for pre-sexually active people. That's people who had not yet been exposed um, to the human papilloma virus through sex. But right now, the vaccine has been designed for all classes of people. I mean, even if you are sexually active, if you are yet to be sexually active, you can actually have the vaccine and you'll be protected against um, cervical cancer for a very long time. Singer Kenny St. Best also joined the campaign, stepping out with her younger colleagues to lend her voice to the awareness program. I mean, this is about women. So if it's for men, men are supporting, but for women, this is our cause. I'm here to add my voice and my, my personality to spreading the new sensitizing our women, our colleagues, our friends, our mothers, our sisters, our daughters about the, 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 this, the cervical cancer that we, we, not everybody must die of cervical cancer. Um, for as long as you can quickly do the screening, early detection, they also always say that, you know, prevents death. So it, it, this is about we letting you know that People, some people already have cervical cancer, they don't know. Some know, they don't know what to do about it. And some, some don't even know that it even exists. But we're saying that it exists. 70% um, of women carry it. But if we can go for screening, so, so the, to, today we're talking about going for screening. Go and get screened. Once you know your status, that you are cancer, uh, cervical cancer free, you know, then you know you're free. But if you screen and you know that you, you have it, 
then the, the early detection and then you can go for the treatment. Why we're doing what we're doing today is to encourage people to go and get screened. And you need to be screened, you need to spread the word, and you need to be aware. Once you're sexually active, you need to be go you need to be screened for cervical cancer. Because HPV virus lives HPV lives in men, you know, harmlessly, not doing anything to them. But once a certain strain gets into women, then that, you know, it becomes it, something else happens. So once you're sexually active, you need to get yourself screened. And if you're not sexually active, Thank God for you. What you need to do is get the vaccine because luckily a vaccine has been, has been um, created for HPV. Get HPV vaccinated and even, you, even if you are sexually active, you still can get the vaccine. But all you still need to do is be getting screened regularly. And as these ones continue to give back to the society, it speaks volume when celebrities leverage on their fan base to push worthy causes.